All right, well, back Thursday. Quick little wad talk for you guys. This one's pretty straightforward. We've done a few like this in the past where we kind of have two people working on a machine at once, and then there's a, a little bit of work to do after the round, and then we keep going back to the machine. So um, 30 minutes, you're going to complete calories on the bike, calories on the rower. Uh, both will be working at the same time. So you guys can switch as you see fit. Um, the calories are a little bit uh, more than we normally would do. So you're going to have to kind of game plan with your partner. Um, different switching mechanics or different switching time domains um, than we normally do. And we've done like 30 calories on each, right? It's pretty simple. You just split it right in half. For this one, since it is pretty long, your best bet is probably to try to cut it into fours, in my opinion. Um, that way you're minimizing transitions. Um, and you're both getting about equal work on each machine. However, you and your partner can do something obviously different because that's the beauty of it. You guys can choose what you want to do. But if you guys try to transition uh, too often, like for males, if you're trying to transi transition um, every 10 calories, you're going to waste a lot of time getting on and off the machines. Um, so I just recommend trying to minimize your transitions as much as possible. Okay. So basically... You complete both the calories on the bike and calories on the rower. Once, say, two males are going, you got to complete all 60 on the bike, all 60 on the rower. Once you're, we complete that, you move to the skierg where you would complete 500 meters um, where this is one person, one resting. So this is where you get a little bit of rest. Um, and then once you complete that 500 meters, you go back to the calories on the bike and you do another round of 60 and 60. If you finish that, go back to the ski, right? So we're AMRAPing this for 30 minutes. Um, so our goal is obviously to get through as many rounds and reps as possible, but it is a long workout, so you can't take the first round and sprint the first 60, sprint the skier, right? You're probably going to get that done in, you know, five minutes, six minutes, and have a, a whole another 20, 20 plus minute workout to do uh, really, really tired. So you got to pick uh, appropriate paces that you can maintain the entire time. Uh, be adamant when you're switching on and off the machines uh, that you make sure you're not wasting transition time. Pretty much the best way to do this is whoever's on the bike can keep biking until the person unstraps from the rower gets off. And then once you get off the bike, you got to basically get right back on the rower and get back to work. Okay, so um, split the calories here. Split this probably since you want to get a little bit of extra uh, work rest ratio. Again, you probably want to uh, split this into like fours if possible. That way you're getting a little bit more whoa, excuse me, uh, smaller work periods and, and a little bit more rest period, okay? But we're just going to go for rounds and reps tomorrow. So say you get through two full rounds, right, and then you get back into the, the calories on the bike and you do 30 here and 20 here, your score would be 2 plus 50, okay? So um, have some fun with this one. It is a long one. You are going to be working for most of the time, so just remember, pick good paces that you can maintain the whole time and maybe speed up at the end. But other than that, have a great Thursday. Enjoy this one, and we'll see you in the gym. Later.